we've come such a long way in yeah. that decade, and we have a lot more to show you next yeah. week as well. We're just getting started with some of the, the true success stories uh, 10 years after Hurricane Katrina. Yeah, a lot of sad stories, but a lot of happy ones to yeah. come to as we look forward. All right, now let's look forward at Danny and what's happening with that and the rest of our weather. We saw some storms come through, and they've saw cleared up. Saw some big storms. Look how We're pretty. looking at the Superdome. This is our new camera at the Hyatt, and let me tell you, we got a big game there tomorrow. Very pumped about it. I think the weather will cooperate. Okay, so let's look at what's happening. We had some big thunderstorms move across the lake and then into the North Shore and the Mississippi Gulf Coast. This is where we had very heavy rain. It was at Pearl River County. We had an urban and small stream flood advisory. That rain has moved out, but they had Doppler indicated almost six inches of rain in just two hours. Now the rain diminishing. A little bit of rain right along Interstate 55 over towards Franklinton, Bogalusa. It's beginning to move out. Mississippi Gulf Coast, we've got some rain over here over by Biloxi. You got a pretty good looking storm that's now moving northeast. Looks like Gulfport, you're going to get that. My sister's sitting on her back porch enjoying the weather. There you can see those showers that are now moving into the lakefront. Looking to the south, Homa. You're looking beautiful right now. You had some rain earlier. You've got some rain at the mouth of the Mississippi River and over Chandler Sound. All of that's moving to the northeast. So here's what's happening. We've got a front to the north that's basically stalled. Where you're seeing that green, that's where you've got the potential for some stronger storms. High pressure in the Gulf, you've got the southerly flow. That's why it's so humid out there. And at the upper levels, we've got this upper level high, and you can see the flow around that upper high just pumping the moisture our way. That's not changing a lot, which is why we're still going to have some rain tomorrow. Then we look at the tropics, very close to Bermuda, 50% chance for tropical development. That's going to move to the north, not a big concern. And of course, right here, we have got Danny. Danny is a good looking hurricane. Max winds 115 miles per hour. It's at category three. Saw lots of people at the American Red Cross fundraiser today, and they were all concerned about this. You know, we're going to have to watch it carefully, but the truth is, it's going to have some issues, and that's a good thing. This is one of the main issues. You can see these winds. I checked 30, 40, 50 miles per hour aloft. That tears the system apart. Look at all of that dry air that it's got to go through. Tropical systems do not like dry air. So as we look at the forecast, we see it moving towards the northern leeward islands. Winds diminish to 65 miles per hour. Then it goes to Puerto Rico. This is Tuesday. 60 miles per hour is the forecast. Then it goes to the Dominican Republic. 40 miles per hour. It's a mountainous terrain. It is expected to tear it up. Hopefully nothing will survive. We can look at the forecast models and you can see them kind of all grouped there, so that's good. But there is a look at that forecast and this is what you need to see as it moves to the west by the global forecast model. It really diminishes it. So let's hope that is indeed what happens. Looking at the forecast, three in the afternoon, upper 80s for tomorrow, highs, low 90s. Keep the umbrella handy as you go into Sunday. Late in the day Sunday, those rain chances. Monday, 30% chance of rain. It's looking hot. Then we've got a cold front that moves through. And look at this. In the morning, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, a little cooler, a little drier. Something we can all look forward to. So I'm pumped about that. All right.